Hey, pop that classroom concert series tape in, man. I know you better than you think, Huey Freeman. What up, classmates? It's the legendary Yeti checking in. We're back in the classroom where knowledge is known and love is shown. Professor Pete, A1, holla at the class, man. Yes, sir. Welcome back, classmates. Semester, second semester of classroom concerts. We appreciate y'all coming out, man. We got a special show. Yes, sir. Semester two. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. I don't know if y'all know. I know we in Houston right now, but we got a very special guest. He done came all the way from Louisiana, New Orleans, Louisiana, man. We got somebody special. Y'all see we got these slingshots. We ain't up here playing. It ain't for a reason. Y'all know how you slay a giant. It, ain't, it don't take much. This is what you need, man. We about to bring out D1. He going to get y'all the game. But before we bring out D1, let me tell y'all a little bit about the three R's and why this episode is three R's 101. Bless him, Red. So my grandmother, she was a teacher, and she would always ask me every day after class, did you learn your three R's? And I'm like, what is that? She said, reading, writing, and arithmetic. I'm like, that ain't for green with three. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah. Why that tie in to our artist, D1, is because he has a slogan that stuck with me. He say, be real, righteous, and relevant. So we want to bring the three R's to the classroom today. Uh, hey, 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 Therese, I don't even want to say no more about it. D1, come to the stage, man. Let them know what them three R's about. Now when you see them threes up, you know what they represent. Be real, be righteous, be relevant. What? Be real, be righteous, be relevant. What? Be real, be righteous, be relevant. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm D1. Like they said, I'm from New Orleans. But we out here in Houston, you heard me? So class is officially in session, man. Just make sure you know one thing. Life is going to test you. And you got to know who the ultimate teacher is, and that's God. So God got a purpose for each and every one of y'all lives. So for this first song, we're going to say... I know God got a plan for me, but I don't know what it is. I'm just out there trying to handle my biz. I know God got a plan for me, but I don't know what it is. I'm just out there trying to handle my biz. Check. It's in memory of my grandma. KC on the track. I know God got a plan for me. But I don't know what it is Hopefully to have a beautiful wife and a couple kids So many things trying to hold me back in this world Plus life's so much harder when you black in this world I'm just trying to put my family in a much better position People disguised as friends, they my competition But I'm on a mission, the pressure risen Try to hit my partners up to vent They too busy to listen Can't drop the ball, some hating on me Others waiting on my downfall Never know how long we got here, that's why I'm in a rush People think they untouchable till they get touched. Uh, ain't no limit to the struggles life will bring. Still, every day I be hustling, doing my little thing. I ain't trying to play the victim, so I never ask this question. But could you pray for me? Everybody say, I know God got a plan for me, but I don't know what it is. I'm just out here trying to handle my biz. I know God got a plan for me, but I don't know what it is. I'm just out here trying to handle my biz. I know God got a plan for me. This for everybody watch. I know God got a sing it, y'all. Three, two, one, what you say? I know God got a plan for me. Yeah, yeah, sing it loud, y'all. I know God got a plan for me. Everybody in the back, I know God got a plan for me. Like every bird on my bread lately Too many people in my city found dead lately And my girl been leaving me on red lately I ain't even tripping, I'm one of God's soldiers This chip on my shoulder, the size of a boulder I told you, showed you, I love you, support you But if you can't be trusted, cut you off like I don't know you I'll vote you, I don't owe you, ain't charged for what I sold you Go now, get right, put on for the culture Deliver 
delivering that music that my fan base felt Flow so hot it make the butter on your pancakes melt I see people be complaining about the hand they dealt Cause they lack perspective and don't understand they self Only getting one life, I'm too blessed So I keep my three up. Everybody say, I know God got a plan for me But I don't know what it is I'm just out there trying to handle my biz I know God got a plan for me But I don't know what it is I'm just out there trying to They go real well together because as a Christian, it's supposed to affect everything I do. It's supposed to affect how I deal with Pete, how I deal with uh, the woman in the elevator, how I deal with uh, the person that cuts me off in traffic. You know, it's supposed to affect how I deal with people in real life situations, but it's also supposed to affect how I do my job. And rapping is my profession at this point. So you're supposed to be able to hear in my lyrics uh, that I'm a Christian. You know, and I don't have to say the words I'm a Christian to show people that I'm a Christian in my music. But I'm not opposed to saying the words I'm a Christian. Check. Say that they do. Now nah, people don't want that real, and I'm one of them too. I'm so easily entertained by ratchet activity. Violent negative imagery always seem to interest me. Tell myself no more music glorifying evil. Selling drugs, womanizing, killing our people. Then I hear a song with a tight beat and can't deny it. The hook is catchy, so I subconsciously memorize it. Next thing you know, I'm reciting all the lyrics. And my day don't feel complete unless I hear it. Inviting darkness in my spirit, this can't be light. I'm craving what I'm supposed to be fighting, this can't be right. I must be blind to the effects, this can't be sight. Death is in the power of the tongue, and this can't be life. Be careful what you get involved with. Cause you can't support a cause, but then hate the effects that it causes. Uh, do I really want change? Am I really who I claim? When that final day comes, Lord, will you call my name? This just really on my brain. Uh, do I really want change? Am I really who I claim? When that final day comes, Lord, will you call my name? This just really on my brain. People don't want love, they just say that they do. Now nah, people don't want love, and I'm one of them too. I'm so easily entertained by the thrill of the chase. Infatuated with a new name and a new face. I tell myself no more hollering at these girls. All I need is one, give her diamonds, give her pearls. But I'm steady looking past what's right there in my grasp. Someone who I can have that would give me her last. Next thing you know, I'm talking to someone new. She don't love who I am, she just love what I do. First she used to ignore me, now she love to explore me. Was cool the first couple weeks, now she's starting to bore me. This ain't right, feeling like I have, but I can't fight. Think I might have to learn how to curb my appetite. All my life, I said that I've been wanting me a wife. But I can't spend all my time just chasing whoever's fine. Man, do I really want change? Am I really who I claim? 
when that final day comes, Lord, will you call my name? This is really on my brain. Check, do I really want change? Am I really who I claim? When that final day comes, Lord, will you call my name? This is really on my brain. I recognize that rapping was part of my overall purpose when I first did a, a performance. It was at the Cotillion Ballroom on LSU's campus. That's the school that I went to. And when I got on the microphone, it was my first time on, on stage as a performer. And I had everybody's attention as soon as that mic cut on. And I realized the power of this microphone. It wasn't anything else but that microphone that drew everyone in. And I said, power has the ability to be used or abused. And depending on what I say on this mic, it's going to affect the message that I put out there into these people's spirits. So I knew that day that I couldn't abuse my power on that microphone. So ladies and gentlemen, what I like to rap about is God and girl. Because I know that that's the two most powerful things in this world we live in. If it's God, then I'm talking about spirituality. I'm talking about purpose. Things that we all wonder about in our own free time, in our personal time. And if it's girls, it's because I'm thinking about, man, what is love like? I'm talking about real love. I'm talking about that 66 years married love like my grandparents had. You know what I mean? I'm talking about what are, what, what are, what are the topics that we need to be rapping about that's going to uplift and edify our women? These are the type of things I think about so I like to rap about. So this next song is called The One. Because trust and believe that I be wandering around this world and I be like, man, who's going to be the one but the one? Let's get into it. This song is featuring my brother Jonathan McReynolds. You hear me? Let's get it. Check. Uh, uh, can I be honest? Can I be honest? Can I be honest? Seems like there are plenty. But I'm just searching for the one. I'm just searching for the one. I don't want just any though. Check. Could you be the one? She could be the urban type or the suburban type. Yeah. I like the working type. You could keep the twerking type. Mm -hmm. Could the women with real talent please stand yeah. up? Nowadays, you could get famous just by having a what? butt. Man, what? Oh, yeah, you know it's true. And some women think without that man don't notice you. But you could be a silver and not be worth a cop. But that means you could be a dime and not be worth a penny. Do you follow? Man, where the real women at? Intelligent queens who got their dignity intact Them the type of women who don't get enough attention She ain't got the most likes, most followers or mentions For real, but I'm looking for a wife, not a baby mom About to start a page on ChristianMango.com If you cook good, that's a good look I know you look good, but do you know the good book? The one that Let's go! Want. Could, Could you be, be the one? one Could you be the one? Could you be the one? But I just want the one. And I don't want just any. I don't want just any. So could you be the one? I'm a messed up guy in a lot of ways. And I'ma probably make you mad at me a lot of days. But when you mad and you don't want to speak, I need to know you love God more than you love me. Cause I can't be on the road every night catching flights, stressing like is somebody at the crib with my wife? And I can't knock another dude for spitting his game. But if you choose to entertain, I will throw you off a plane. Not really, but I need a woman mentally strong. You put David before God, that's mentally wrong. God will show you how to love me in ways that I can't. Just cause I'm from New Orleans, baby, I ain't no saint. So I appreciate the queens that we do have. We love you, baby girl, you just don't know the half. Them girls living fast, living reckless, ain't gon' last. Just remember, class don't compare itself to trash. Get in. Could you be the one? Could you be the one? Could you be the one? See, it's my dreams. I know there are plenty. I know there are plenty. But I just want the one. I don't want just any. I don't want just any. So could you be the one? Break it down. Oh, oh, break it down. Oh, genuine. But really love me for me. Uh, 
I'm just curious, how many people out here that never found the one? I'm trying to see what that's like. Who got their ones up? Oh, ain't nobody found the one, okay. Some of y'all done found the one, let me know. Some of y'all done found the one, let me know. Where your ring at? I let it show, I let it glow, I let it glow. When you find the one, tell me what it feel like. When you find the one, tell me is it real life? When you find the one, tell me what it feel like. When you find the one, tell me is it real life? Could she be the one that I want? Could you be the one that I need? Could you be the one I'm looking for? Could you be the one that's right for me? Man. Love is a beautiful thing if you found it. Hold it tight, cherish it, and don't let it go. Life is short, so love hard, you hear me? And keep God first, period. Produced by my dog, KC. This for my grandma, this for my mama. This for all the little queens in the house, all the princesses in the house. From the north, east, west, and the south. Check, check, check. This for all the women out there with so much on their plate. Putting up with drama, but it never show on your face. Out here working double time, you don't get help like you should. You do miracles to keep your family healthy and good. Yeah, you get emotional. I know it's lonely at times. If you snap and go crazy, you gonna be doing jail time. People throwing shade, but you don't forget who you are. You remember, vengeance is mine, said the law. Who that's hard? Nobody was around, but you held it down. Don't forget to treat yourself. Wear your crown every day. Look yourself in the mirror and know your worth. Rejoice at your reflection, cause you the salt of the earth. You in church? It feel like the pastor talking to you We're all trying to pull you down God keep pulling you through This ain't one of them songs where we disrespect you Don't throw your pearls to pigs We gon' love and protect you uh. On your shoulder When times got hard you never gave up You never gave up stage, I think about the goals and the dreams that I have moving forward in 2021 and beyond. But I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that I had humble beginnings. Nobody expected me to make it as a rapper. They said, man, that's the dude that don't curse in his music. He ain't gonna go far. Man, that's the dude that don't necessarily 
have a cosign from anybody. It ain't Lil Wayne. It ain't Ludacris. It ain't this one, that one, Dr. Dre, Jay-Z. It ain't none of them that he signed to. How he gonna make it? I'm the dude that they was like, wait, that boy is a teacher trying to be a rapper? So teaching, uh, teaching middle school impacted my lifestyle because uh, I knew that the middle school years are when my best friend in life uh, uh, started to change. And ultimately, my best friend got murdered. And sad to say, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't something that he didn't have coming to him. Like, he had it coming based on how he was out there living in them streets. And seventh grade is specifically when I saw my boy change. Eighth grade, we all saw him changing. By the time he got to high school, that change that started was just more solidified. So I knew how important and impressionable middle schoolers were. Um, that's why I wanted to teach that grade, uh, that age range. Everybody said middle school is the hardest. You don't want to teach middle school. That's exactly what I wanted to teach though. And it's funny, I was flying down here today for the classroom concert show and I just finished writing a song on the plane, just, just real life answer. Um, uh, one of the students that I taught became a real popular rapper in Baton Rouge who got murdered a few years ago named G Money. And um, uh, he, was, he was on his way to blowing up. Uh, he got murdered um, and I wrote a song about him. He was classmates with uh, another very popular rapper named Fred O'Bang out of Baton Rouge. Those are my students, man. That's Frederick Givens and Gary Burton, you know what I mean? Uh, and it's crazy because I was recalling the days before uh, G got killed and he called me and we were FaceTiming and he was just telling me how he didn't really know who to trust anymore and it was just a lot of, a lot of street stuff going on that had him really, uh, just really flustered because on one hand he this close to blowing up but on the other hand, he know that it's like, man, this beef is serious out here in these streets and my name just swirling and circulating all in the midst of it. So I was supposed to link up with him. He was gonna come by my crib in New Orleans and I didn't hear from him the next day. And I was gonna call him and reach out and make sure you know he came through just to get him away from all that. And I was like, I'm gonna let that man chill. I get with him Monday, cause I had a show in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, and I was like, I'm gonna go do my show. I wasn't gonna bring him to the show, but I was like, I'm gonna let him chill go do my show, I'll get with him on Monday. And he got murdered on Sunday morning. So I never got Monday, never got a chance to see him again. And, you know, living with that type of pain um, uh, is tough when you were somebody's teacher and you saw their evolution. Let's go, fella. Uh -huh. I need to see everybody getting ready to wave. Y'all ready? Oh, 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 oh. Look at what I'm doing. I'm winning trophies and getting plaques. I'm making money and giving back. Yeah, yeah. Hi, mom. All of my dollars got blue faces. All of my tennis got no laces. Every day I'm seeing new places. When I told mom what I wanted to be, she got really, really scared for me. Told her I was headed for the TV screen. She said, people in this world are evil and mean. I gave her a kiss, said, I'll be back. She said, are you nervous? I said, never that. She said, be careful. I said, would I not? She said, where you going? I said, to the top. Now I'm in a plan consuming a view. If you don't know me, I'm Google a boo. I'm the one with the slaps they be losing it to. Whole lot of naysayers, I'll be proving it to. Who the man? Who the man? Who the man? Who the man? You a hater, but I know deep down you a fan. Fall down, bounce back, all part of God's plan. Game on the track like a black jacket chain. Hi, mom. Look at what I'm doing. I'm winning trophies and getting plaques. I'm making money and giving back. Yeah, yeah. Hi, mom. All of my dollars got blue faces. All of my tennis got new laces. Every day I'm seeing new places. Yes, mom. I've been eating every day. Yes, mom. I promise I've been getting paid. Yes, mom. I've been sleeping enough. Yes, mom. Your boys all grown up. No, mom. I don't even know who they are. The people on the internet are always taking it far. Most times I ignore them. I don't give them a mention. We call them trolls. They just want attention. I make this look easy, but it's hard. Mom, congrats. You raised yourself a star. Let's go to the lot. Pick out a car. You the one deserve the most applause. They don't know how I keep doing it, but I do it. They've been trying to stop me. They blew it. They don't be talking a lot. They get to it. Told them that I was going to make it. I knew it. What I'm doing, I'm winning trophies and getting plaques. I'm making money and giving back. Everybody, hi, mom. All of my dollars got blue faces. All of my tennis got new laces. Every day I'm seeing Everybody say, hi, mom. Everybody say, hi, mom. Everybody say, everybody say.
Look at what I'm doing. I'm winning trophies and getting plaques. I'm making money and giving back. Yeah, yeah. Hi, mom. All of my dollars got blue faces. All of my tennis got new laces. Every day I'm seeing new places. Yeah. So, at this point in life, it stops being about success by the world standards. And it starts being about success in God's eyes. Because there's a lot of people that work in their teens, their 20s, and their 30s to get to this quote-unquote mountaintop. And then a lot of us, we get there. We really make our dreams come true. We just bought our dream car. We settled down with our dream girl. We living in our dream house. Money in the bank looking righteous. And we still feel empty. And it's like, man, how do I fulfill that feeling? And people be like, D1, three R's, 101. What does that mean? They used to it meaning reading, writing, and arithmetic. But with me, life is all about being real, being righteous, and being relevant. Being real is about knowing who you are. Loving exactly who God made you to be. Looking in the mirror saying, yep, flaws and all. I was supposed to be this way. And everything I've been through is going to become my testimony. Because now I can teach somebody else how I got through what I had to go through. That's what being real is about. Being righteous is about saying, man, there's two sides in this world. It's the side that's standing for good. And it's the side that's standing for evil. Ain't no fence riding. Ain't no lukewarmness. And I'm striving to be righteous in everything I do. It just feel, it feel amazing to be trying to be righteous. Even though none of us ain't perfect, we should strive to be righteous. And last of all, being relevant. In this world full of competition and other people doing what we doing and people feeling like every industry is overcrowded, the only way to be relevant is you got to shut up and grind. You got to work hard to be relevant. Because when you become relevant, that means you got people's attention because of how great you are at your craft. And the best way to stand out is to be yourself. That's the only lane that's not taken. That's the only reason why I'm still here. I said, man, I'm going to be myself. I can't be all the way this or all the way that. And I know God got a plan for me. Thank y'all for coming out, man. But give it up for D1 one more time, man. Them three R's, baby, real, righteous, and relevant, man. Give a shout out to the classmates. Yeah, man. This is truly a fire brand, a fire movement, classroom concerts. It's dope, bro. Um, you know, I started out in the classroom as a rapper and a college student, you know. So I remember being in marketing class, being in economics, being in accounting classes, and thinking about the bars I was writing, you know, while I'm supposed to be paying attention, but I'm writing bars. So to come full circle and be doing Shit. a classroom concert years later, that's only God. People don't want that real, they just say that they do. Now people don't want that 